Yes? Hey, there's people on the internet saying that Descent of Dragons Reno Mage sucks. Oh my god. We've got to get to a computer that works! Where's your car? We took a cab here! Damn it, mine's in the shop! Hey! Help! Stop! Please, it's an emergency! <laughs> come on! Nelson! Nelson, I need to come over and use your computer! No, I, I need to play- Reno Mage. Nelson! Reno Mage. I need to play! Our demo was set up right over by the- All right, I'm in! And that's the way the hunter crumbles. That sounded cooler before I said it out loud. So, I'm pretty sure we just won the game. I'm honestly stumped trying to think of how we could possibly come back. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Crispy Waffles, and for too long, hunter players have dominated in the mage vs. hunter matchup. But no more. Today, we're showing you what happens if you take a deck that's meant to be weak against aggro, but tech it to absolutely destroy that matchup. We're taking you with us on our climb all the way to legend rank, giving you those pro tips and decisions behind every move. Now, if you enjoy my stuff, make sure to hit that like button to let me know. Any tips, questions, maybe I forgot to mention something, or you just want to say hi, drop a comment below. I do read every single one. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, do consider subscribing. We've got the most incredible community, and I know you'd absolutely love being a member of it. Like and subscribe, or all your opponents will play Albatross. Let's do this. Now, without further ado, let's get right back into the meat and potatoes of it here. We do have a worthy opponent. And it looks like it's going to be a hunter this time around. So we're definitely going to hold on to that Arcane Breath, uh, toss in the Pilgrim, and we do have the coin, so we'll hold on to one of the four drops. I uh, kind of like the Bone Wraith a bit more than the Keysmith, just in case we get unlucky, or... Uh, Bone Wraith's just a pretty solid option all around to prevent him from hitting you with damage. Didn't really get any early game cards, so that's pretty unfortunate, but we do have a Dragon to go with the Arcane Breath, so we could always discover a spell. Uh, he is going to be the Quest Hunter, so... I feel like that's a bit uh, easier on us overall than the aggro version. Okay, and he is going to go for the side quest there. So I think it's going to be a pretty tame early game. Uh, we're just going to ping him for now. He'll get a 4-4 minion uh, pretty soon. Uh, if this wasn't a quest hunter, we'd probably be playing the... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. If this wasn't a quest hunter, we'd probably be playing the Snip Snap, but uh, I feel like he won't really have that much threatening stuff early on. Yeah, we will just clear that with the hero power for now. That gives us a four cost mountain giant for next turn. Uh, pretty likely that he'll be able to clear it, but that will soak uh, quite a few of his cards. Like if he doesn't kill it, then we can just conjure it and win the game basically. Well, we'll just keep him focused on our minion instead of our face for now. No, cat, you can't have the court. No, kitty, that's a bad kitty. What are you doing? Get out of here. There, you see this? Go get it. Go nuts. Go, go crazy. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why they're still trying to eat the... Like, I swear to God, if they chew through another headset, I put soap on it. I don't know why they're still trying to... It doesn't make any sense. Uh, where were we? Uh, let's see what we can get off the Arcane Breath. It is turn 5. So the Shooting Star will come in a little bit handy later. We'll get the Bone Wraith out for now. That'll uh, hopefully soak a few more minions. We're basically just stalling him out, running him out of steam here. Once we have access to our uh, late game, should be a lot better off. <laughs> Or, I guess I should say, the longer the game draws out here, the better off we are. Oh, pretty nice draw with the Blizzard. I think we'll just go for that, give him an empty board. He's down to just the three cards in hand, and we still have a full one. Like, uh, Quest Hunter doesn't really have that many charge options. Other than Unleash the Hounds and maybe a Leroy, as long as you don't flood the board, like, without a taunt, or play around it, you'll be fine. Pretty nice of him to get the Swarm of Locusts. 
So he's probably going to complete that quest on uh, turn 8. So I think we'll coin out the turtle here. If we're able to hit the Frost Nova, he definitely won't be able to complete that quest next turn. But Flame Strike will do just as well. Oh, I had both Swarm of Locusts in hand. <laughs> Very convenient for him to get that on turn 8. <laughs> So he will get the uh, hero power with those. We're definitely going to need to kill <laughs> the minions somehow. Worst case scenario, we could use the uh, shooting star here to make it a bit more manageable, but we have a few options in hand. Let's uh, see what we can get with the arcane keysmith first. Oh, flame ward, that's beautiful. So he'll only be able to get through for 5 damage next turn. Let's see what we can draw into. Yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Like, uh, we can get a taunt out of the Sea Mat if we really have to. We have the Doomsayer with the freezes, still have that shooting star. And then if he uh, really slips up and gives us a chance, we could always self-heal with the Alexstrasza. So I think we're in a pretty solid spot at the moment. Able to refill his hand with the Lynxes, but Quest Hunter doesn't really have the most options for drawing, so it does look a little bit intimidating seeing the full hand there, but it's mostly Lynxes. And our minions have so much health that we'll be able to clear uh, quite a few of those, even if they are buffed. Uh, I think we'll go for the Twilight Drake here. That'll get a 4-9 out on the board. That's going to be really annoying for him to deal with. And we can even get the Doomsayer out with the Ray of Frost. Uh, might as well capitalize on that now, just in case we don't draw into the Frost Nova for a while. Uh, we are able to freeze the entire board. Blowing uh, likely the last of his like hard removal options, just to clear this. So before this gets a little too out of control, uh, as nice as it would be to save the Siamat for a taunt, we're just going to give it the Divine Shield Rush here. That'll take out one of the minions, and then uh, we could go for the freeze, but I think we'll just use the Shooting Star now. And uh, that gives us the full board wipe, nothing to contest the 6-6. Six, six. Don't have to worry about uh, anything that we didn't clear from the last turn, carrying over and getting even more attack from that hero power. Just gotta bleed him out a little bit longer. We're gonna start flooding the board with value soon, and I don't think he'll be able to keep up. This is looking like his uh, pretty much last stand here. <laughs> oh, perfect timing on that flame strike. So, might as well see what we can discover off the Caligos. Oh, another flame strike, you say? Well, don't see why not. Might as well use that one so he thinks that we just uh, high rolled him or something. And we are at half health, but we're still perfectly safe behind that Alexstrasza. Well, very nice of him to be able to uh, clear the Caligos, but that will take up his whole turn. And give us that empty board to do whatever the hell we feel like now. So the power creation, that'll give us the most value here. And damage Segathorn should seal the deal. <laughs> With two cards in hand, I don't think he'll be able to deal 24 damage and then like also get some lethal off with our Alexstrasza in hand. Oh, we will clear one of them though. Close, but uh, not close enough. <laughs> Don't even think we really need to save the Alex. Let's bring him down to 10 health here. We got that 511 taunt and we can just swing for lethal on the next turn unless he draws into some kind of option. Which I don't really think he has very many of. <laughs> so trying to heal up there, but I think we just barely have lethal with a flame strike and a snip snap. Because <laughs> that minion is a mech. 7 plus 8 is 15. Beautiful. <laughs> and that's the way the hunter crumbles. That sounded cooler before I said it out loud. And it's as easy as that. <laughs> Another hunter down. Let's keep it rolling here. 
Almost going against the little puppy. Oh, we do have another hunter. So as nice as the Defender and Zilliax are, uh, we're just going to toss them. They're a bit too expensive, even with the coin. And uh, Arcane Breath and Doomsayer, those are going to be great for the early game. It'd be nice if we could draw into a turn 3 or a Dragon for the Arcane Breath, but not a problem at all. Oh, the Battle Mage makes me think that this isn't going to be a Quest Hunter. Uh, so we'll blow the Arcane Breath right away, stop him from snowballing with any minion value. Uh, Frostbolt's going to be great for that minion that generates secrets. That's probably the biggest threat right now. Oh, and of course he has it. But uh, I would have used the Arcane Breath there, even if I didn't have a Dragon in hand. Just really don't want him to start taking off. Like, worst case scenario, we could have uh, tossed out the Doomsayer there to clear his minion. He would have got a secret, but I don't think he would have been able to clear it. But we'll just toss the Doomsayer out here, and with any luck... Yeah, he's going to let that wipe the board. He does have the weapon, which is going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to want to get something on the board immediately. So we'll just uh, hopefully keep him attacking our minions with it. Let's see what spell we can get off the Malagos for starters. And we'll have to go with the missiles. The intellect, I feel like in this matchup, it's just uh, <laughs> such quick games that you really don't have a chance to get off like your arcane intellects. Or it's a lot better going for the damage. And he actually didn't get the effect of the Rottenest Drake, so that means that's his last dragon. Definitely going to clear that. Hopefully the missiles can uh, hit it three times here and we'll be able to sneak in a conjure. Come on, daddy wants a high roll. I was just barely getting it, that it's beautiful. So now we got two 5-cost minions. Uh, we can follow it up next turn with the Defender. And uh, like even with the weapon, like we didn't need the Zephyr. We'll just... I don't think he'll be able to uh, keep up. Like We got value out on the board. That'll deal with anything he plays. His hand's pretty much empty. And we're going to heal back up to 22 health. <laughs> as well as soak all the damage with taunts. So I'm pretty sure we just won the game. <laughs> Obviously going to want to test for the Freezing Trap first, so we'll attack with that minion. I don't think any of them are really running Freezing Trap. Seems to be all Snake Traps and Explosive Traps. Like, maybe a Rat Trap. Well, we'll just uh, prioritize keeping the board a little bit clear. Get that Taunt out. Good game. <laughs> oh, Kara Defender has caused so many concedes like against hunters specifically <laughs> it's just such a great card keep going here yet another worthy opponent Ooh, we do have a warrior matchup now Malagos too expensive don't really like the dragon caster without like a power creation or galaxy in hand don't really like the stargazer Luna, like we can do a little bit better for the early game here, and I know I always tell people to toss the Mountain Giant against aggro, but I feel like Warrior has the slowest early game, so we can afford to uh, go for it here, especially with the coin. Like we were lucky enough to draw the Arcane Intellect, so that's like a guaranteed turn four if we wanted to. Just getting some face damage off, at least there's no minions yet, you gotta expect Warrior will invoke every turn. We'll just ping him for now. Soak a little bit more damage. Oh, that's going to be a little bit annoying for us. <laughs> but I think we'll draw some cards. We do have the Twilight Drake and the uh, Mountain Giant. Like, I don't think we're going to get another... Or, we're not going to get a better chance than we just had to get the Arcane Intellect off and draw into some more options. And uh, I'm, I think it's a pretty good thing we did do that. Because we were able to draw into the Reno. We got the Keysmith. Those are going to be some really solid options. And now the uh, Twilight Drake and Mountain Giant are going to be that much easier and uh, beefier when we play them. So we really want like a Flame Ward or something. Um, Vaporize might work out here. Because you got to think, he's going to want to play around the fact that that could be a Flame Ward. Uh, so we picked it right away, we taunted him with the BM, or the cocky hello, whatever you want to call it. Get inside his head, all that fun stuff, so he's worrying. I'm thinking he thinks that's a Flame Ward. Which means that he's going to want to get through for the most damage he can. Like, if we're lucky, he might go for the... Yep, beautiful. 
So it's an easy clear of that minion. Gonna get a really easy Reno off later without worrying about all the bombs that would be generated. Yeah, that's the thing with the secrets off the Keysmith, is they really could be any secret. They have to play around what they're most scared of. So when you pick those uh, like random, not as great secrets, it is still as good because they'll assume that it is the better option. So might as well uh, clear the minion with the Arcane Breath, lets us discover a spell and get the Twilight Drake out for starters. Uh, I really like playing the Twilight Drake before the Mountain Giant, especially if he's not going to be playing any minions with more than 4 health, because it does have more health overall, and then uh, like if he did have a random execute or some kind of removal, uh, we would have soaked it up there, and we're able to get the Mountain Giant out for 3 mana now. Uh, I think it's just completely worth it to go for that with a freeze. Uh, we could go for the Reno next turn, and <laughs> like now we got that 4, 8, and the 8, 8 for him to deal with. The Scion will take out the Giant, but uh, I, I really like the uh, trade here because that Scion can be quite a problem later on if he's able to draw it with the Galakrond effect. So I'm pretty happy about him blowing it early on. We still got that 4-8 to survive. So we'll clear the Armorsmith before it becomes uh, a bit too much of an issue. Like, we don't want him gaining 30 armor on us. And then uh, we could clear the minions, but I think the Taunt Divine Shield will be a bit better because uh, that way if he invokes or anything, he won't be able to just go face. Beautiful that the bomb hit the Twilight Drake. Oh, and blowing the second Scion. So a little bit rough, but uh, I'm pretty happy about him getting rid of those in the early game rather than in the late game. <laughs> Just going for the armor up, no other minions. So it's an empty board on turn 8. We have a coin and a Dragon Queen Alex in hand. There is no way we're not going for it. <laughs> well, there's some beautiful cards to get off of it. Uh, so we'll play the one that nukes the whole board. We really want to get all the value out we can, and doing one damage to the Dragon Queen isn't that big of a deal. Uh, Alex Straza is going to be great, just in case he does uh, manage to nuke us down here. We'll have that as an option to heal with, as well as the one in deck. Oh, he's inner raging his own taunt. Oh yeah, he's really up against the ropes now. Like, <laughs> he wanted to be doing that to a Leroy. <laughs> and with 11 health on his minions, that's just absolutely perfect for the Reno and a hero power. Uh, we can start facing him down, take out all that armor, maybe even just flat out kill him next turn with Alex Straza. <laughs> like he's used the Scions, which are his best options. Um, unless he, yeah, there's the Galakrond. He pretty much had to use that here, and then he needs some really good, um, like rushes or uh, I don't, I don't really know what could save him here. Got the Occulte. And yeah, he's out of mana, so I'm thinking we got it here. We just barely can't hit him for lethal. Um, let's see if we can get off the Witch Doctor. Make it as annoying as possible for him to get through on the next turn. Get the Carhut Defender out, so we'll be able to heal up even more. Uh, pretty much no matter what he has in hand, he won't be able to deal with this. I'm honestly stumped trying to think of how we could possibly come back. Yeah, good game. <laughs> like, unless he had a random brawl or something, I'd... What was he supposed to do there? <laughs> Taking down those aggro players without even needing the galaxy effect. Next time on Dragon Ball Z! Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end, you absolute legend. People like you are the reason I do this. I love you. If you like this video, you can like it. <laughs> Maybe subscribe or whatever. No, I'm just playing hard to get. I, I really do want you to subscribe. Uh, my channel will get bigger. You'll see all the new videos. Win-win, right? <laughs> Drop a comment with any tips or questions. Maybe you just want to talk. I always love to hear from you guys. We'll see you in the next one. And until then, stay beautiful. Nelson! Nelson, I need to come over and use your computer! No, I, I need to play... Reno Mage. Nelson!